Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to create this amazing 3D looking title animation from scratch. So make sure to watch till the end because you'll learn lots of useful tips and tricks. And before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started. Open After Effects and make a new composition. Let's call it Main Comp. Set its size to 16 by 9 ratio and then press OK. After that, select the Rectangle Tools. Set its fill to a dark navy and its stroke amount to zero. Then make a rectangle while holding the shift key like this. Now center align it using the align tool. Press S for scale and R for rotation. Make keyframes on both like this. At the beginning, set the scale value to zero and rotation to minus 50. Add the middle keyframe, set scale to 125 and rotation to 25 degrees. Add the end keyframe, set scale to 100. Now easy ease these keyframes and adjust the graph editor like this. Next, select the text tool and write your main letter. I'll write M for motion. Then, center align its position. Now, make a keyframe on its scale. Set its value to zero at the one second mark. At the middle, set the value to 125 to give it a bouncy look. Easy ease these keyframes as well. Now make this text layer 3D using this icon. Then apply a camera and leave its default values. Now create a null layer and parent the camera to it. Hide the text for now. Then convert the null layer into 3D as well. Make keyframes on its position, scale, and Y rotation. Now, move a few frames ahead. Set the Y rotation to minus 50 degrees. Decrease its Z axis position like this. And set the scale value to 80. Now go a few frames ahead again. Copy the first keyframe and paste it over here. Now, go back to the main text layer. Make a keyframe on its position and adjust its Z position like this. Increase its scale too. Then copy and paste the first keyframe here. Easy ease all the keyframes and adjust the graph like this. If the animation feels too fast, Adjust the spacing of the keyframes by holding the Alt key to make it smoother. Now change the label color of the text layer. Then duplicate the text layer. Cut this layer using Control Plus opening and closing square brackets. 
at the middle keyframe, change its Z position like this. And decrease its scale. Now repeat this process two more times. Decrease their opacity by around 20% gap. Now, for this layer, create an expression. Hold the Alt key, click on the stopwatch, and write random 40, 60 under parenthesis. Place these duplicated layers under the main text layer. And apply glow on the text layer. Make a keyframe on the glow exposure. At the beginning, set the amount to zero. Do the same for the ending part. And now we'll get something like this. Now go back to the null layer. Adjust its X position like this toward the end. Now write your text. I'll write motion. And I'm using this font. Center align it. Then make a keyframe on its position and adjust like this. Easy ease this keyframe. And adjust the graph like this. Now we'll make the mask for this text. For that, select the Rectangle tool. Then make a mask around the text like this. Animate its position like this. Then parent the track mat of the text to the mask layer like this. Turn on motion blur for the text layer. Now pre-compose all these layers by pressing Control plus Shift plus C on your keyboard. Then make a new solid layer. Call it BG for background. Apply gradient ramp on it and adjust the effect like this. Now, Make a zoom out animation on the pre-comp layer like this.
make a new adjustment layer. Apply glow on it and set the exposure to low around 0 0.05. And this is our final animation. It's fully customizable. Just change the text in it and the whole animation will update automatically. And this is our final animation. If you learned something new in this tutorial, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps. And make sure you don't miss any future tutorials. You can get access to this project file and many others by becoming a member on my Kofi page. Link is in description. Your support helps me keep creating and sharing valuable content. See you in the next tutorial.